Assalamu alaikum guys we are back and I hope you like this new method of teaching today I'm going to teach you about deficit model by Robin Lakoff female language features were discussed in this model so basically it was given in 1975 by Robin Lakoff in her book language and women's place this book was primarily discussed uh, the language differences that are possessed uh, by women I mean language uh, lingu uh, linguistic different linguistic features that are different from men Robin Lakoff is the professor of linguistics at the University of California Berkeley basically this model was a research conducted on the white middle-class university students According to this result, result we found different uh, results, so we are going to discuss these results one by one. The first one is women tend to use hedges. For example, kind of, sort of, it seems like. The words like that are called hedges. Hedges are basically used to lighter the tone of assertive statements. For example, he was kind of rude to me last night. A woman would say he was kind of rude to me last night instead of saying he was rude to me last night. Or it seems she doesn't like me at all. Or he was sort of old fashioned. Or she will say it seems like she is an arrogant girl. She was kind of mean to me yesterday. She was kind of mean to me instead of saying she was mean to me, mean to me yesterday. Polite. Use of super polite forms by women. Women use super polite forms in their speech. For example, would you mind make me a cup of tea? The phrase here is would you mind is the super polite form. Or if you don't mind, can I borrow your shirt for tomorrow's party? If it's not too much, I would like. Is it okay if the phrases or the expressions like that are called super polite forms and these forms are mostly used by women. To be polite is a psychological aspect of women because they are mostly repressed in their houses, offices, schools. So this could be the reason of their excessive use of polite forms. Empty adjectives. Women use empty adjectives. <coughs> For example, adorable, divine and gorgeous. Empty adjectives guys are the adjectives which possesses no meanings but are used because they sound good. For example, oh, ad how adorable she is. The day was such a divine. It was a gorgeous meal, John. So these adjectives are called empty adjectives. Women speak less. As you can see from this picture, women is saying keep quiet. So I don't agree by the way, but according to this research, uh, she concluded that women speak, speak less frequently than men. The next here uh, is avoid curse language or expletives. Women avoid curse language or the lower varieties of languages and they don't abuse as much as men do because they hate using these words or abuses. Next one is tag questions. Tag questions are the questions like you don't mind eating this do you? I mean where you put tags after the statements. These are called tag questions and they are mostly they mostly use tag questions in their speech. Next is hypercorrect grammar and pronunciation. Women use hypercorrect grammar and better pronunciation. What is hypercorrect grammar is using the proper grammar and they avoid the words like ain't or double negation uh, because uh, they try to use the proper and the higher variety of the language so they use correct grammar. For example, the examples of the negation is, I haven't got no time for supper. A man could say like that, but a woman would say it like that, I haven't got any time for supper. She will use the proper grammar. And the eighth one is indirect requests. Women tend to use indirect requests. For example, instead of saying, uh, give me a glass of water, a woman would say, oh, I'm so thirsty. I mean, how funny is that? They would always go for indirect requests. So this is a diagram. It will help. This is a picture. It will help you the speech of male and a female. So look at the difference between their direct and the indirect requests. Next is speak in italics. Women tend to speak in italics 
uh, it, uh, speaking in italic means uh, when you emphasize on certain words when to uh, when you uh, put stress on certain words to emphasize for example the words could be so very quiet for example he was very polite she was so arrogant i mean the way of speaking is mostly from the women so this was all in this video lecture and these were few um, results of the deficit model and thank you and i hope you like this new methodology of teaching thank you and please uh, give your comments and your feedbacks in the comment section allah hafiz